Hey everybody, Power Mods is back. We had a great little vacation over the Christmas time. Spent some time with the family, but I just got to show you something that I received in the mail, kind of from Santa Claus, uh, Kelsey Claus at RK Tech actually, sent us this 860 big bore kit to go on the 800R engine. The 800R engine, Rotax, is going in this beast right here, the IQR Mountain Mod. Now you diehards, Rotax guys, Polaris guys, don't worry about it. This is actually a marriage made in heaven. I can tell you right now that this engine is going to be a sweet addition to that sled. Some people have asked, you know, why didn't you just big bore make the 858 Polaris out of the 800 I had in there? And the answer is simple, because it's a carbon machine and you can't do it with that engine. I also had this 800R motor sitting around. I was going to put it in the rev, but that 827 that I have, the big board kit from RK Tech, is just such a good engine. Why would I pull it out of there, right? So, I've got the 860 big board kit, just received it in the mail, and I'm going to show you what's in the kit. It's an unboxing kind of thing. And boys, she's pretty cool. Have a seat. All right. First thing we have, these really sweet looking domes right here. Now, this is more or less set up to run pump gas. These aren't really high compression domes. I'm not going crazy with this machine. It's going to put out apparently somewhere in the 180 horsepower plus range. If we get a chance, we'll dyno it. It is going to go into Jaws. He's going to build a custom pipe for it and can. So uh, as soon as this is all done, we're going to get that part shot in video as well. So these cool looking domes Quite an interesting machining pattern on here. There's his signature cover, top cover, head cover, you might call it. And these, there are alignment marks on here. There's an X right there. That goes towards the exhaust side, if I remember correctly. So they sort of sit in there. That's where a lot of the magic happens. Nice. You got your little thermostat cover. And when you send in your mono cylinder to Kelsey at RK Tech to be bored out a little bit, you have to send your valves in as well. Now, some people say, oh, they're not valves. Well, they are. They're raves. They're some kind of valve. They go up and down. They close things, that's what a valve does. Am I using the exact right terminology? Maybe not. But anyway, he just does a little bit of machining right in here and then you get these back as well because now the cylinder is overboard a little bit. Got to make room for these valves as well. He sends the required gasket with it and there's this nice looking mono cylinder. He does a little bit of porting Actually, he does quite a bit of porting on it, I imagine. That's where a lot of the extra power comes from. People say, if it's an 860, you know, how does that extra little bit of overboring make all that extra power? And it's not really because of that. It's because of the piston design he uses, and it's because of the porting and the polishing and some of the other little tricks that these guys use to make more power come out of your sled. And, of course, we have these custom... Pistons only available to RK Tech from Wozner. And right here. Same pistons, very similar to the ones that went into my 827. Pretty cool looking pistons, actually. Nice. Here, take a picture of that. Day. That's it. Dual ring. When you put these together, you got to make sure you check the ring end gap. And that's about it. Online, now it doesn't come with instructions, but online you can find the instructions for every kit right on Kelsey's website, twostrokeheads.com. And uh, right here I've got the 860 Big Bore install instructions. She's just about ready to go, boys. I feel that happening. We have to do a few things first. We have to do a little bit of measuring inside the engine compartment. We have to mount up the engine plate, the base plate of this engine, to the engine motor mount plate, and then we can put it all together. 
So I gotta thank you guys for coming back as usual. Make sure you stick around for this build. It's gonna be pretty fun. I can't wait to see this brat. We're finally, hopefully, supposed to get a little bit of snow, but I'm not quite sure. We might have to go driving to get it, but that's just the life of a snowmobiler, right? Make sure you check out twostrokeheads.com. Tell Kelsey, Louis from PowerMod sent you.